Well, this is the classic view of Glencore, just along from the village of Carsku. But if you really want to see the geology here to its best effect, we need to go up there onto the hillside and look side on. So let's go and do that instead. So in the early 1880s, Charles Calloway was working along this part of northern Scotland and he recognised that. So over on the left, we've got the old Louisian Nice. They called it the Hebridean Nice back in the 1880s. And it's overlain by those down to the right, inclined pale rocks, well bedded. And those are, well, what we all know now as Cambrian Quartz aronites or quartzite. And you could track that down to the sea. Yeah. But what's that on top? It's more Louisian nice. And that's what Callaway recognised. Nice is repeated on top of quartz aronites. It's a thrust. So what did what did Callaway say in his paper? And he drew this really remarkable cross section of this hillside. And it shows the old gneisses carried up over the quartz aronites and a rather complicated pile of rocks immediately underneath. And he published it in 1883. It's the Glencore Thrust. Well, those more complicated rocks had to wait for their understanding until they were mapped by a guy called Charles Clough later on in the 1880s. And he worked out some really amazing structures down towards the head of Loch Lane Cool there. So let's have a look at his map. And his map shows these really remarkable stripes. If we look carefully, you can just about see them picked out by those little bands of heather on the ridge lines down at the loch side over there. And they're stacks of repetitions of the Cambrian stratigraphy, all above those quartz aronites. And they're capped by the then cool thrust that comes over the top. And we can find it down at the back of the valley there, down in those little islands, and trace it back around the hillsides here that we're stood on now. It's a fantastic area, one of the most important in world geology. So let's sit down and draw a cross section through this peninsula here which is Ben Erdeloch and we can maybe capture some of the geological features recognised first by Calloway and then by Clough. So that's the Glencore thrust. Loch Glencore, 
a fantastic location.